Hello everyone and welcome here to my channel. My name is Anthony Allen and here in this video I'm going to be showing you another free plugin available for Final Cut Pro 10 aka FCPX Final Cut Pro X and the plugin that we're having a look at is the one that you're seeing on screen right now. It is available at iDustrial Revolution and it's called Web Search Page. Yo, let's join forces, hit the subscribe button. So I've opened up a blank project within Final Cut Pro 10. If you would like to know how to best start your project within the software, then have a look through my 10 part beginner's guide for Final Cut Pro 10, and you can find out how you can start your project within Final Cut Pro today. So the next stage is for me to search for the plugin that I've already downloaded and installed on my Mac machine. It should already be within Final Cut Pro 10 and that is going to be contained within the generators or titles. So in order to find your generators and titles, you want to move up to the top left hand corner of the screen and you want to click on this icon just here. Just here. And you can see there's a message that is displaying that says show or hide titles and the, show or hide the titles and generators sidebar. So I'm going to click that. Right now, this is where you want to be in order to start searching for your plugin. Now I'm going to scroll quite quickly through the titles because I recognize just by skimming through these titles because I use them quite often um, what's there and what's not there and what's new. So if there's anything new that pops up, including the web search, uh, the web search plugin that we're looking for, I will be able to see it. So don't worry, it's not within the generators. So let's move on to the titles. So once you're in your generators and you've selected titles, you want to go into the search here and you can actually search for this plugin and just search the word web. Already you can now see that the browser is now displaying the plugin that we've downloaded ready to use and we're going to drag this into the timeline. So now I've dragged this into the timeline, here is when the fun begins. So let's have a little play around with this plugin to see what it can do and to see what kind of fun we can have with it as well. Because at the end of the day, content is supposed to inspire you or educate you or make you feel emotion in some way, shape or form. If you're creating something mundane and it's not getting any sort of reaction from your audience, you're not doing your job as a content creator. So let's get started. So I'm in the timeline now, you can see that the plugin is not rendered because there is a small dotted line at the top of the timeline where it's displaying if something has been rendered or not. When you see this line, it's not rendered. So at the moment, the actual plugin itself, as I've dragged the generator in, is not rendered within the timeline. So it's not showing us our full quality and potential yet until we've rendered it. But we don't want to render it because we're going to make some changes. The reason why my things aren't rendered in my timeline but yours may be automatically rendering that dotted line is due to the fact that my preferences are different. So I've set my preferences differently within my Final Cut Pro 10. I do not like to have absolutely every change rendered straight away and that is because render files can take up space on my machine. If you would like to know how to do this, I'll also have a tutorial but you can also ask me in the comments section down below. So we have a few things here. We can actually change the name of the search title. So you can see that it actually says search. Now I've used this plugin before. I'm not gonna tell you what happens. I'm just gonna start typing to show you what happens when I automatically begin to type. Now clearly I have cap, cap lock on. So it's all in capitals. It was really hard for me to say cap lock just, but I have cap lock on. So all of my letters are in capital letters. But you can see that there is one colour for the title. The reason why there is one colour for the title is because I've actually added the word in where the font change is red. So you have to manually go in and change the colour of the font. If I put a letter here, you will see that it will be blue. Now, a cool way that you can actually do this is you can go behind the letter. For example, I just went behind the letter S. When I went behind the letter S, it actually gave me a blue letter A when I typed A. So what you would like, what you what you need to do, for example, if we sir, if we uh, change this, let's play around. Let's make it say YouTube. So it's going to start with a capital Y, right? So that's our that's our Y done. I'm now going to go behind the E, and I'm going to do a small O, 
Um, it's going to look really weird at this point. Um, I'm then going to go behind the A. I'm going to start continuing to write YouTube. And it's going to continue doing that until it's at the point where our colors match and look more or less like Google. Because it's technically trying to imitate Google. Um, so I think that's the effect that we're going for. Um, Obviously, the content creators probably don't want to to outright admit that they're trying to go for a Google, you know, um, search browser plugin. But basically, that's what it's supposed to look like. So you can see now that that says YouTube. That is a little trick as well when you're using this plugin. Just thought I'd let you know that as well, because otherwise it can be very daunting and tedious having to go all the way into your font properties and having to change the face color, because that is the second way of how you would do that. You would select the word, um, as I have it there. Um, you'd select the word, and then you'd go into the properties of that word, and then you'd have to change the face color of every single letter, which can be very, very tedious. We don't want that. We don't want it to be a tedious process because it's just going to give you a headache. So <laughs> let's go back into the plugin now. We also have enter text to search here. Right, so obviously this is what's being searched within the browser. I'm going to give you a preview of what this looks like at this point. So this is unrendered, so it may buffer. Looking good, looking good. You can see that the browser searches for whatever you put in as that text. So I could put, where is Tupac? Right now, or even better, let's go back. I can do better than that. Let's do, let's, 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 let's do better. Is Tupac alive? 2020. Just thought I'd start off that conspiracy theory again, just to have a little bit of a laugh and a joke with this plugin. But it does sound quite interesting when you, <laughs> when you start to think about it. Another thing that you can change with this plugin is what these two buttons down below say. So you've got the uh, search, um, the search, search. Okay, I think that might be a spelling error saying search, search. I've just realized it says search, search. Um, but let's make the screen a little bit bigger so we can see that a bit better. Um, and search, search, but it says start search here. Yeah, so obviously you can change what this says. That is what it means by search, search. Um, <laughs> I think it's supposed to say start search. Um, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. Um, but let's say uh, we can change that thing to, I don't know. Uh, search video and then I'm feeling lucky could be I'm feeling lit right so let's render this and I'm about to show you what this looks like when it's rendered and and it's it's, it's done and, and so forth so I'm just going to render my selection here uh, while that's rendering, it should be fairly quick. I'm just going to talk you through basically what we've done so far. So, so far, we've downloaded this plugin from iDustrial Revolution. I've also given you a link in the description. I'm also going to remind you now that the link directly to this plugin so you can download it for free is in the description down below. After that, we've gone into Final Cut Pro 10. I've walked you through how you can start your project, or if I haven't, I've also directed you to one of my videos that will help you learn the best properties and how to start your project within Final Cut Pro 10. Then we've moved on. I've made you uh, understand that my project is slightly different because my preferences are different to yours, meaning your changes will render straight away. Then I've walked you through that. Then what we've done is we've gone through the plugin, I've shown you one of the issues with the plugin and also walked you through how to get over that issue so you can save yourself time when using this plugin if you're using it for a professional or even fun purposes. So here we go, let's have a look at the end result of using this plugin. I'm also gonna scroll down to see if there's anything left there is. So I have to uh, actually go back now. Um, there are a few different changes here. So you can change the background color. I didn't see that for a second there. You can change the background color of the browser to whatever you'd like. 
Um, I prefer the clean white as it, just, it looks, you know, like Google. Um, <laughs> another thing as well is a box outline. So obviously with the search term, I'm presuming, if you check that off, you'll see there's no box outline. Uh, some browsers, uh, uh, search engines uh, don't have that full line. So that's, that's great that that's there. And you can also change the camera angle. So you can camera rotate. Maybe you can keyframe the movement as well. Let's do it without keyframing. Well, so you can literally uh, rotate the entire, I'm just going to undo that change, you can rotate the entire look and feel of this search browser and camera position I'm presuming is your X and Y axes which is moving it across left and right and up and down. So I'm just going to put this back to where it belongs first, I'm just going to undo those changes, I really could just type zero into the uh, camera position on the X axis but I'm just uh, showing off for the fact that I can do undo by holding control, uh, command and then pressing Z. So there we go. Let's have a look at the final finished result of this plugin. So I've shown you the example and I've shown you how to use the plugin. We've had a little bit of fun of it and we saw the capabilities of the plugin on a whole. So you can decide whether you're going to download this free plugin for yourself. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more free plugins for Final Cut Pro 10, more software, more gaming, and more editing help as well, because we cover those three subjects, editing, software, and gaming. Those are the three subjects that we cover here on my channel. We have a lot of fun with it as well, so definitely stick around. My stomach's starting to rumble now because I'm hungry. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one here on my channel. Thanks for watching.